Hi everyone, this is Carla. I'm glad you could join me today. It's a beautiful day. Hope your day's going well. This is um, a Thursday here actually. And I have a small little haul that I would like to share with you. So I'm gonna do that and uh, hopefully you might like some of these things you see. I have seen some things coming in from the Dollar Tree that I have thought are just absolutely adorable. So yesterday I had to go to Dollar Tree just to check it out and see what I could find. So here are some of my Dollar Tree finds. Uh, one little thing I found, I found this little sign. I thought that was really cute. Let me raise this up a little bit. It says, Cottontail Farms open daily. Uh, this is the way to the bunny trail. Dollar dozen. Isn't that cute? Not exactly sure how I'm going to use that yet, but I thought it was adorable, so I got that. Also, uh, they had mesh, and I had seen on somebody's um, tutorial that they had found mesh at the Dollar Tree this year that was uh, multicolored, but I couldn't find it. Mine just had solid colors. This, to me, it says decorative mesh, but it looks almost more like a tool but I'm sure it's probably the texture of mesh, but I just love that. Uh, the only color they had with this on it was the yellow. They had, uh, you could tell they had sold quite a bit of their mesh, so I don't know if they had more colors uh, at first when they first got it in, but I just love these little bumpy things on there. Really cute, so I picked that up. And like I said, they had uh, the mesh, that was like multicolored. It had like the pink, blue, yellow, and maybe a lavender that was all on one roll. Oh, it was so pretty, but my store is either out of it or they didn't get that one in. So I may go out on a Dollar Tree hunt today looking for that, I don't know. Then I picked up some stickers. These were a little different. I had never seen these there before. So, um, I picked up some of these little butterflies. They're also always cute to embellish with. And I like the way they have this kind of gold foiling on them. There's some of the larger ones and smaller ones. And I picked this up. This is iron-on transfers. Isn't that cute? It's a rainbow. It says, keep looking up. There may be a rainbow waiting for you. Now, I don't know that I've noticed iron-on transfers at the Dollar Tree before, but I thought this was really cute. So, and I got two of these. These come in handy for decorating cards, I think. I got two of these. They're, um, oh, like little urns and uh, flower pots. You know, you could put flowers on them or greenery. I just thought those were really cute. And they're, they're raised, they're puffy. So I like those. Then I picked up this set of flowers. These are raised too, and it's kind of a rose gold color. And I just thought those are really pretty. I hadn't seen those there before either. Oops, this one got away from me. <laughs> and these are gold uh, little stickers and kind of like little foliage and it says flowers and I thought that was really cute. I almost wish I'd got another one of those but I can always go back right. Now the other thing I got I thought these were really cute and you know things have gone up to a dollar and a quarter but still that's really not a bad price. Um, I picked up some of these little wooden squares you know they're finished actually they're rectangles and let me see how many I got of those. I think I just got a couple maybe of those. Yeah, I got a couple of these. And I'm thinking craft fair. Not sure what we'll do with them. But they, you could either put something on them. Or you could make something to hang. Put a little hanger on the back. So, not sure. Got those. And these I thought were absolutely darling. Ugh. I love these little bird houses. Now my Dollar Tree had two styles, so I got two of each.
and well gosh this one's different I thought I was getting two of these, but as you can see, the roof on this one's different. I like this one. I think that's really cute. It has the double kind of slats on the roof, and this one only has the one, but it has the one hole. And I'm thinking craft fair. I think you could do the spring. These would be adorable for Christmas to put on a tear tray, decorate them up really cute. So I got uh, two of those and two of these that have the two holes in them, and that will be my craft fair. Uh, projects. And this one looks like the little stick is stuck inside, but I can pull that out. There, the little bird roost. <laughs> there we go. So I picked up four of those. Uh, the other thing, let's see, what else do we get? Oh, we got, I saw these and I thought, you know, these would be really cute on a tear tray too either for Christmas or for spring, any holiday, really. And you could decorate those up. They, they stand, and, you know, you could paint around that. You could put a message on there. I just thought those were really cute. So I picked those up, and then um, I picked these up because I know at my craft fair last year, I took my tear tray, and it's a pretty large one that I got at Hobby Lobby, and I decorated it up with little things, and I really did a pretty good job of selling all the little things because I had made them out of, you know, inexpensive uh, little things like these from the Dollar Tree, and I didn't sell them for a very high price. You know, I sold them maybe for $3. So if I sold this for a dollar and a quarter, you know, I might sell it for $3 or three fifty. dollars So um, these are on a little easel. So you could paint that and that would fit really cute on a tear tray, I think. So I picked up three of those. So that's my Dollar Tree haul. Now I have a few other little things. Whoop, put that over here. I had, uh, oh, and I'm going to share these with you a little later. I made all those little stuffed animals on a pattern that I had shared with you that I had purchased from Joe Ann's on President's Day when they were having their sale. So I've got, um, let me look, four, actually five of those made. And gosh, I'm just so proud of myself. But anyway, because <laughs> I don't sew much. That's why I'm so proud of myself. And they turned out really cute. But anyway, Hobby Lobby had their ribbon on sale, or is on sale this week, for 50% off. So I picked this one up, kind of polka dots, and I picked uh, this one's really cute. has elephants and a heart. This one is uh, the polka dot. And these are $3.99, so I got them for two. Uh, inch and a half wide and three yards, I think, on most of them. Yeah, three yards a roll. I picked this one up. This can go with blues or lavenders, I thought. That's really pretty. And I got this one, kind of the pastel. That can be springy, but it looks really cute on one of my little animals I made. And, of course, the pink and white polka dot. I had some of this in the uh, smaller, probably like an inch wide, but I wanted some of the inch and a half wide, so I picked up that. And this one I got at Joe Ann's. I, uh, I just had to have it because I made a little giraffe. Look at that, little giraffes and little hearts. That is so cute. Now it wasn't on sale. Do you know how much this was, ladies? Uh, $7.99. But I did have a, um, 40% off coupon on my phone. And it's uh, nine feet, be three yards. So, you know, Hobby Lobby does, a, does us a big favor when they put their ribbons on sale for 50% off. Because even with 40% off, you know, I paid well over $2 for this. That's for sure. But anyway, it was cute. It was perfect for my little animal. And then I just picked up some of these smaller ones, I got some, you know, colors that I was either running low on or had run out. It's the Grogain ribbon. So I got one in the orange, in the blue, in the pink, and in the bright yellow. So I did pick those up.
Now, what else have I got? Um, Amazon. From Amazon, I picked up these little clips. These are plastic little clips. I'm trying to think, I think there's 24 in here. Can't remember exactly what I paid for them, but I know I'm gonna say maybe eight dollars, seven ninety nine, or maybe eight ninety nine. Can't remember. I'll try to find that for you. But anyway, these little clips. What I'm gonna do with these? You can see right here. They uh, you pop them up here. It took me a while to figure out how to get these open, but I figured it out, and it wasn't easy. <laughs> so I'm gonna try. Pop this up. There you go. So when you pop that up, it has little grips inside that you can grip that onto fabric. And I'm going to make some binky holders for my craft fair. I just thought those would be cute. Seems like uh, a lot of little mamas now are having babies. And a lot of those little mamas are students that I had in kindergarten. Now talk about making you feel old. Oh, well, they do grow up, don't they? <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, it's always good to have a little binky holder that you can clip onto something. So I got some of those. I'm planning on making some of those for my craft there. And then, uh, you know, if you've watched my videos, you know I've made some book pillows. And so I wanted something to put those in. I didn't want to just leave them laying around. And also for my craft fair, I want to put them in something so they'll stay nice and clean. So from Amazon, I ordered a uh, hundred pack of the 18 by 24 clear flat open poly bags. So that's what I'm going to be storing my pillows in. And I've got them stored in there now. The width is perfect. There's a little bit of overhang on the top, but if you fold that down, it's perfect. So I'm really happy I got those. And, ugh, I mean, I didn't really need 100. I don't doubt if I make 100 <laughs> book pillows, but I can use them for other things, like when I make uh, uh, floral arrangements and things. I always like to store them so they don't get dirty or dusty. So anyway that's what i've got so hope you enjoyed this little tutorial plan on getting on later and sharing my little stuffed animals with you so hope you'll come back and join me for that hope you're having a wonderful day it's a beautiful day to get out and walk so i may be doing that myself but i think i'm gonna have to get out and hit some more dollar trees see if i can find that mesh so anyway love y'all thank you for watching my channel and if you haven't subscribed please hit that little subscribe button and until next time bye bye